I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for joining us on a wonderful, wonderful presentation of a car that would take you two or three years to own. Crazy as it seems, think about this. Commission somebody and say, you know what, I'd like for you to take apart a 71 Camaro, frame off, rotisserie, do the underneath, do the body panels, do the interior, then I'd also like you to build me an all aluminum V8. Aluminum block, heads, uh, I'd like fuel injection. Uh, how about overdrive automatic? Could you throw in an overdrive automatic as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's something like that cost? Well, I think we could probably do that for maybe uh, 70 G's. And you're like, wow, all right. Uh, maybe I should go to Fleming's and find the car that's here because what I just described to you, you can buy for significantly less than that. This is a car that only has, okay, on it, 75 test miles. Underneath of the car is painted, it's detailed, it's got a great, great sound to it because it's LS powered by GM. And if they plowed a billion dollars into a drivetrain, who are we to uh, try to reinvent the wheel? They've got it figured out, it works wonderfully, and it works even better in this car. With the overdrive automatic and the 410 gears in the rear, it's got snap, okay, and you can get it on the highway and just cruise, all right? So uh, uh, let's start with some paint quality for a second. We'll come on up here and uh, we'll check that out first. A little hard to see uh, here, but hopefully you can see how nice and clear all the words are. I don't know if on white uh, we'll be able to see it so well. But uh, it's really very nice. And one of the things I wanted to point out to you, though, is that although the car is painted beautifully, the stripes are clear-coated, all right? And the reason why you want the stripes clear-coated is as you wash and wax this car over time, these stripes would start to tear uh, and things like that would happen, and that prevents that from happening. It's the little detail stuff that we're going to walk around and see today, and you'll see what we're talking about. Anyway, the car just came in. We're kind of finishing it up right now. Uh, we're aligning some panels. We're working out some of the bugs, uh, some of the detail stuff. I wanted to get the video out quickly so uh, you could see before you lose it. Uh, that what a great car this might be, especially to get, uh, even if it's your first, second, or fifth car, it's pretty cool to add a modern drivetrain to uh, a classic car like this. And the suspension's been done as well, and we're gonna check that out next, all right? So let's take a peek under the hood and see what the power that motivates this car is. All right, so part of, uh, part of customizing and doing the little things about cars, this is the fun part that I love doing. I think that you'll love it as well. I don't wanna wire a dash. Uh, first off, I probably don't even know how. Um, I don't want to uh, rebuild an engine or a transmission. They're just above my pay grade. What I like to do is I like to replace emblems or buy some trim pieces or some chrome stuff and do those kinds of things and tinker. For me, that's therapy. I like to do that in my garage, throw in some tunes and whatever. So uh, we started out with something like this right here. These are modern Z28 call-out badges here. Okay, you couldn't get them last year uh, when the 14 Z28 was out. You had to actually have the registration to get a set. Now the 15 came out, they finally released some. We went ahead and bought some of those. Okay, so that's a pretty cool looking badge right there. And then you throw in the big wheels and tires, all right? And uh, these are 17s and 18s, they're staggered. They give that car a great look. So then we went a little bit farther. So come on over here, because we're finishing up the car. I just wanted you to see what we're trying to do. And it's the little stuff I feel that makes a difference. So here's a modern Camaro badge here with the Z28. And again, this is all stick on stuff. We didn't drill any holes in here. We put that on there so that uh, uh, you can see just how quickly it changes the look of the car. The side was totally plain, and I said, you know what, I'm not sure that there's enough here, and adding in this modern touch to it with the big wheels and tires, I just thought it was a great thing. All right. So uh, we've ordered a couple pieces for it. I'm going to tell you what those are. So here's the level of restoration when you see things like this. For instance, this car came with a black, uh, kind of a satin black engine compartment originally from the factory, okay? In this case here, because the car was all taken apart, it's all painted inside here. This is the LS drivetrain, and it's not a beauty on the top, so we have a carbon fiber cover that we had made for it. It'll be here in just a couple days, and we'll take some photos and put it up and update it online. Or if you decide to buy it, uh, you know, we can uh, make sure you get the, the pictures of that and we'll change that too, okay? So also, as well, it has some things that are important to me. For instance, I love uh, power disc brakes, which this has. I love power steering, which is really nice. As we get a little older, that's kind of nice stuff to have. In this case here, this has uh, a radiator module. So the radiator is really big with two big electric fans on it as well. And the nice thing about that is, let's say you wanted to go to the beach for a crew, you get stuck in traffic or whatever. Uh, the last thing you want to do is have the car overheat, and this really prevents that from happening because you can see how big the opening is, see how big the radiator is. All new wiring in here, okay? The computer for the, for the uh, engine is here, all right? It's just so clean in here. Modern wiper system, the cal induction hood, just little stuff like uh, all the bolts are cadmium bolts, so they'll last for a long time, and you don't have to worry about things like that rusting in the first week, all right? Again, it's that little detail stuff like these here. 
these fasteners instead of an ugly old bolt. That's a really nice Allen head fastener with the washer as part of the unit. Okay. All right, so uh, as my man Colin says, we're checking out the back. All right, he probably just came from a club, so thank him for that line. All right, so back here, Z28 call out, right? But what I want to show you is new chrome, tail lights, all of the stainless and everything on the car is new as well. But this is a part that I wanted to show you here. It's got the Hotchkiss upgraded suspension. Look how nice the polished MagnaFlow mufflers are, which are stainless. Um, look underneath the car's all painted. The gas tank's been clear coated. That's the detail stuff that is expensive and takes a lot of money to do, and not to mention an enormous amount of time. And that's why it's always best to buy a car like this that's already done and, uh, and it's with somebody's hobby. And now there's a good chance that you can enjoy it as well. All right, so my little things inside, like the trunk. So I had this made here. I had this uh, black carpet made with the red welting in there. Just a little tiny trim stuff that, you know, I just feel adds a little something to the car. All new weather stripping around here. Stripes come in here and they go all the way around. And again, they're clear coated as well, so you can't feel them and they're not gonna rub off so quickly, all right? All right. Okay, all right. Come on into my little den in here. All right, so here we have a little bit of combination, uh, old school and new school. So we have this console here. I bought some ca carbon fiber uh, to put on here that I was gonna finish that up as well, which I thought would look really cool on it, okay? And this has this upgraded cool dash. Check this out. All Dakota digital dash gauges in there. They're actually, uh, they look analog. Uh, they work that way, but they are digital uh, modern gauges. All right, so the dash is all custom is there. This stereo looks old school, but inside it is all digital and modern guts and you can hook an iPod and stuff like that up into it as well, all right? The overdrive automatic, this has the four speeds here uh, for that. I had these mats made to match the trunk with the red uh, welting around the sides. You know, not a big deal, but just uh, little stuff like that. You got uh, manuals here for the uh, sound system, some decals for the car, all right? And the interior is all new. Carpet, seat covers, door panels, a dash pad, headliner, uh, obviously we just looked at all brand new gauges here. If it was me, I probably would uh, update this steering wheel, and that's up to you, of course. I probably shouldn't say that. What I meant was, if you wanted to, because it's pro touring, I would put a billet wheel on here, and the billet wheel would totally finish the interior with that little carbon fiber trim. Uh, and to me, that would be uh, what sets it off in the rest of the car. Anyway, so a new car outside, a new car inside, a new car underneath, a new car under the hood. Uh, basically, I would call this a brand new 71 new car. All right, so we close up this video. We talked about uh, how fresh the restoration was. We talked about how great the parts were, the LS power, the overdrive automatic, uh, the 410 gears, the upgraded suspension, the disc brakes, um, spectacular paint. You know, the list goes on and on. And I don't mean to minimize all of that, but I guess what I'm saying is this is the way you want to buy a car. If you try to do these yourself, they're significantly more expensive. Here's a chance for you to get something that was somebody's labor of love, that was a show car for them, right? Now you can get a car like this in your life and you can be driving it next weekend, right? Probably spend half of what it costs to, to build it uh, now. That'd be two or three years before you could even drive it. So anyway, uh, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this cool Camaro Pro Touring Z28.